Right, um, we're starting off at Kobe number two. I've already been to Kobe number one and found like, I think it's just two t-shirts, so that was it. So I'll just add this footage in at the start of when I go into this one. But we're at Kobe number two, nice sunny day and there's a big turnout, it's fully packed. I think it is full, so hopefully it's a good one. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And yeah, we'll just get straight into it. I'll show you the first bit, which will be at car boot number one, and then everything else will be this car boot. So yeah, have a good one. Perfect, thank you. Everything. Thank you. Okay, so carpet number two is done. And yeah, I actually filled a bag. I, like, I haven't been out for, well, I have been out, but it's just been really quiet. But I haven't posted on Instagram for like week, week and a half, maybe two weeks. Cause it's just been so shocking. Like last weekend, I think I found like three or four items, but I didn't go out the Sunday. So that, that didn't really help. But yeah, in the next clip, I'll show you everything that I found and we'll just go for it all. And we're back. So yeah, we'll just go straight into it and go through everything that I found. First one is this Ralph Lauren quarter zip. I think it's a new age one. Yeah, it's just a new age tag. Paid two pound on it and easily get like 20 to 25 on that one. And then next we've got the old Fruit of the Loom sweatshirt. I'll show it there. Made in USA, just got simple fruit of loom embroidered there i paid i think it was a pound or two pound on that one and nothing too special i'll probably get 10 to 15 pounds for this one but still just a nice piece to find made in usa so it's a nice older one the next item that i found is this jacket i don't know if i'm going to pronounce this right but i'm going to call it scott but it's like a zip up puffer bomber but i paid 10 pound on it which is a bit pricey for a car boot but just these, I've sold these in the past for 40 to 50 pounds. Um, and this one's in perfect condition and they're just really good quality jackets, really warm, but just a nice one to pick up. I'm not sure what size it is. I think it's a large, yeah, large. So it's a decent size as well. Next, we've got all the hats that I found. I found three of them. First is this Nike one. I 
think it's a youth size, I have a feeling. Youth one size, but it does fit my head. It's just got a simple swoosh on the, on the front there. Next, we've got the KFC cap. Um, people wear these and buy these for festivals. Paid a pound on it. Uh, the Nike one, I actually paid 50p on that and paid a pound on this one. Probably get 10 to 15 pounds on that in the summer and the festival season. And the final hat that I found is this old Arsenal bucket hat. I think it's a youth one. It doesn't say any sizing, but it just says Arsenal there. You can tell it's really old from the badge. And then it is reversible as well. It's Arsenal there, but it is quite battered. I think I paid two pound on this. Well, I paid 10 pound for this bucket and like the two posters that I'll show you in a bit. But I just thought it was an older one and it just looks different really, but it is quite battered. But I'll probably still be able to sell it, but I probably won't. I'll just put it in like the old football stuff that I've just been hoarding and I'll probably crack that out eventually. I did find one pair of trousers, just these Reebok ones. They're like got the taping all down the side. They are, I think they're like a youth size, aged 12 to 13, but they'll definitely fit some girl if I just put the measurements on Depop. Probably 15 to 20 pounds on those ones. Um, I think I paid 50p for them or a pound, something like that. And then we've got the t-shirts and I'll show you those two posters at the end. First, we've got this, unfortunately it is a V-neck, but it is an early 2000s grey tag Nike t-shirt. Nice centre swoosh at the top, but paid 50p on it and probably like 10 to 15 pounds on it. I think it's got a couple of marks. And then we've got the, I think it's Patriots there. Patriots, but it's an Adidas t-shirt. It's on an old Adidas tag there, but it's just really cool spell out and it's got Adidas on the sleeve. I think I paid a pound on that one as well. So I'll probably get 10 to 15 on that one. Then we've got a nice, plain, simple Ralph Lauren shirt. I haven't picked up a Ralph Lauren shirt in quite a while because some of the, sometimes they sit, sometimes they just go straight away on Depop. But I paid, I think, pound on this one, pound or two pound, and I usually sell them for around 15 to 20. And then we've got my two favourite bits of the day. I got these both from a clearance van. It was 50p an item, just all on the sheet. And first one is this Speedo t-shirt. I'll show you the tag if it focuses, but it's made in USA and it's just got a simple logo there, nothing on the back, but just couldn't really go wrong. Uh, probably sell it for around 10 to 15 pounds. It's nothing too special, but it's just a nice older piece, probably like late 90s, early 2000s. And then the best one of the day is this YSL. I'll show you the tag. I've asked around a bit. Most people are saying it's like early 90s. Some people say it's like late 80s, but I don't know, I have to do a bit more research into it, but it's just like this weird star pattern t-shirt. Really cool, very low key. Um, I think it has got something there. It has got it embroidered, the YSL logo, right at the bottom, but it's just got this really nice boxy fit on it, and I'm probably gonna keep it for myself. Something like you just wear on holiday, I'm trying to think of somewhere where, where you'd wear it. I'll just say Barcelona, because that's just pretty basic but just something on the beach, proper old, nice 90s t-shirt. But I paid 50p on that and I don't know what I'd get for that because it's not people like the spell outs obviously, but it's just a really low key, really old piece of YSL. And I think I've only found like probably five or six YSL bits with that tag. It's really hard to come by, but just a really cool piece to find. And the final items of the day, which aren't clothing, related but I just thought they were something different. There are these two posters that one of the antiques dealers, one of the antique dealers and one of the car boot had. First one is this one, it's gonna be shiny. Uh, it's got Bob Marley, Barrington Levi, King Stitt and Rita Marley. Legalise the herb. Oh, that sounded really cringy me saying that but I think I paid, I paid a tenner for these two posters and the Arsenal bucket. So that's that one, and then this one, it's like a jungle, jungle music one. I'll show you it there. What does it say? Groove Rider. But just something different, really. I think it's dated, 1994, Kicking Music Limited. Just something cool and different. I don't know what I'm gonna do with them, but just another cool thing to hoard and have in the collection of random stuff. That is it for all the items that I found today. As always, hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel. Thousand subs by the end of the year. 
and of course make sure to follow the Instagram and my Depop we down here Ryan's Finds R-H-I-N-D-S-F-I-N-D-S thanks for watching and see you in the next one